So in Street Fighter 6, we got a bunch of brand new mechanics. We got parry, we got drive rush, and of course we got the most divisive one, and that is drive impact. Many people love Drive Impact, some people hate Drive Impact, but today I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of different ways on how you guys can beat Drive Impact in Street Fighter 6. This will help you with World Tour, Arcade Mode, Online, doesn't really matter. So, uh, yeah. So, the first method to dealing with Drive Impact is, of course, using your own Drive Impact. This Doing this raw is, um, it's good. It works, um, but there are a couple other ways that you guys can react to Drive Impact in a much easier manner and get about the same punish out of it. Now, the next method is also pretty simple, pretty easy to do, and that is to just mash. Now, when it comes down to mashing, I don't recommend just mashing, as there's a lot of different things that can go wrong, like you can time your mash incorrectly, you can get like counter hit for it, or like let's say you're a bit late on the mash, boom, you got counter hit, you know, that's full combo for them, you know? There's different things that you can cancel into to make the mash a bit better. And mashing on its own, you don't really get a huge punish for someone using a drive impact. The risk reward just isn't as good when you're just mashing. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a bunch of different other ways that you guys can utilize the mash in order to get a better punish. So first of all, there is mash into drive impact. This is the one that I recommend the most. Honestly, I recommend mashing into drive impact um, a lot more than just mashing or even just raw drive impacting as it gives you a bit more time to react to the drive impact and a bit more, you know, sound and visual indication. So yeah, this one here, I think is the number one way uh, to punish drive impact with the drive impact, in my opinion. Another way that you can utilize the mashing is to cancel into a special like this. So yeah, again, once again, I don't highly recommend this. This is very, you know, specific. It's very specific to the character, depending on what your buttons are, what's special cancelable for you and all that stuff. But for Cami, it's just, it's just, you know, use whatever. Cami has a lot of options to cancel into special, but again, I don't highly recommend canceling into special as again, you don't really get a huge punish out of it. Now, the very last way to utilize your mashing is, to use a level one you can do this using modern controls classic controls it really doesn't matter but you can cancel into a special pretty easily on both control types so yeah so as far as character specific stuff goes this is gonna of course come down to the character as different characters have different options and different characters can use things a bit better uh cami in particular has a couple of options though they're a bit preemptive you gotta already know that the character or your opponent is going to use drive impact ahead of time so like that cami can use hooligan combination to go over top around and get a full combo punish and all of that stuff this next one is also a bit character specific as different characters will have different options to deal with this and all that stuff so uh yeah this one is basically just to neutral jump you'll get a nice little punish it doesn't really matter which distance you do it at you can you know just do that you know you know be max distance doesn't matter you'll get a punish anyway so yeah neutral jump is an option uh characters characters like jury have like probably the best option for this as her heavy kick actually goes both sides so when jury neutral jumps she just has to hit heavy kick and it'll work so yeah that's the that's the neutral jump option it's not it's not terrible it's not great it's character specific of course sometimes there won't be enough time to get a punish sometimes it'll just get blocked so yeah this one is definitely situational but it works sometimes so yeah so the next option to dealing with drive impact is to parry. Now this one here, it you don't really get a whole lot out of it. As you can see, like I let go of it and I start mashing and you know, Ryu automatically just starts blocking my attack. So a normal parry isn't gonna do the job generally. Um, it's not great. It doesn't work a lot of the time, but it is a way to negate the drive impact. The next way, and this one is going to give you a much bigger punish, though there is going to be a ton of scaling, and that is a perfect parry. 
Now, this one here, you're going to be getting a ton of damage scaling when you do it effectively, but it is a method to dealing with drive impact. It works pretty well, and you get, you know, time to do stuff. So, yeah, it's better than a normal parry. So, yeah, there's that. Now, finally, we have the very last method, and that is to throw. This will work with command grabs, it'll work with normal throws, it doesn't matter. And I'm sure many of you guys playing online have had your drive impacts thrown or have thrown drive impacts. I think this one is extremely common online right now. It's a pretty simple punish, very easy to do. You just, you just do it. It's easy as heck. And even if you're not even in grab range, the characters will just step into your grab range anyway and you can just throw them, so. Alright, so I've switched over to Manon just to confirm with you guys that command grabs do in fact work. And like that, his drive impact just got thrown. Yeah, so drive impact is command throw and normal throw susceptible. It doesn't really matter which one you do. You can do a normal throw, you can do a command throw. It doesn't matter at all. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's throw breakable. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully this helps you guys out. If you guys, if it did, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to comment which method you guys have been finding the most success with. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. It's been casual. Time to play.